YouTube star and co-host to Mr. Beast Chris Tyson has been making headlines since revealing he has begun hormone replacement therapy and reportedly transitioning from male to female. Now, the news not only shocked fans, but many are canceling Chris altogether because he's portrayed himself as a masculine family man, and now it appears that he's abandoning and betraying his wife and young son in the process. It's obviously a complicated situation, but we'll uncover what we know about Chris Tyson's transformation and backstory in this before and after. Chris Tyson, aka Mr. Beast's sidekick, has shared that he has begun what he calls life-saving hormone replacement therapy a couple of months ago. The 26-year-old is being met with controversy due to the fact that he's a married man with a son and many believe that this is a betrayal to his family. TikTok is abound with opinions and news on the subject with creators spilling what they know about Chris's gender journey. Christopher Tyson, known as Chris to much of the internet, is a YouTube star who rose to fame as the co-host to Mr. Beast, appearing in most of the videos alongside Jimmy or Mr. Beast. Born in 1996, Chris has described himself in the past as a country boy, growing up as a boy scout and apparently does the most work in their survival challenges. He grew up in North Carolina and still lives there today. Chris and Jimmy created the channel in 2012 and since then, Mr. Beast has grown to over 144 million subscribers. These days, Chris is one of the only people that is consistently appearing on the channel and he's also the main host of the channel Beast Reacts. Chris is also a big fan of cartoons, which means he can be quite childish and he's said to be the most vulgar of the group. But his wild antics have always kept things flowing well. In terms of his personal life, Chris has a wife, Katie Tyson, and in June 2020, they welcomed their son, Tucker, together. In November of the same year, Chris further came out to fans on his alt Twitter account as bisexual, which also came as a surprise to fans back then. Most recently, the internet is abuzz with Chris opening up about his gender identity after people speculating online about his new look. Chris claims he started life-saving hormone replacement therapy two months back and that his physical appearance appearance has already started to change following this. The 26-year-old spoke about HRT in response to a Twitter user who compared an old and new photo of Chris. And to this he said, HRT and it's only been two months. Hormone replacement therapy or HRT in Chris's case is feminizing hormone replacement therapy and this is when a doctor administers hormone medications to lessen male physical characteristics and increase female ones. People assigned male at birth are typically prescribed estrogen since it blocks testosterone and allows people to better align with their feminine gender identity. Chris also went on to post a link to a tweet from their alt Twitter account recounting how informed HRT helped save their life, saying, informed consent HRT saved mine and many others lives, replying to a tweet claim that conservatives are trying to erase the trans community. Chris continued, The hurdles GNC, gender non-conforming people, have to jump through to get life-saving, gender-affirming healthcare in a first-world country is wild to me. Just let people make informed decisions about their own bodies. Transitioning has many positive benefits, including alleviating gender dysphoria for 80% of individuals who undergo the changes, improving their sex lives and overall quality of life. However, introducing higher levels of sex hormones can have serious risks, including raising the risk of heart attacks, strokes, and blood clots. Chris has a lot of people talking as he was beginning to don a new look, including longer hair, dressing increasingly more feminine, as well as wearing some makeup and previously showing off his long painted nails. Kind of like these. <laughs> Chris revealed that they were originally hesitant about opening up about their journey, saying, I was super nervous to be public about this because I've always been so private when it comes to this, but seeing conversations started because of me is amazing. Now he said he struggled with gender dysmorphia for some years and was learning about it for a reported 21 years after discovering his sister's dresses and going through her closet. In fact, he claimed that becoming a parent to his two-year-old son, Tucker, actually helped with his decision to start the treatment. 
The YouTuber tweeted about this alongside a photo of him and his son. If I didn't have this little nugget, I'd never have gotten this far. He's taught me so much about myself in such a short time. I can't wait to learn through life together. The number of people who are transgender, as well as those who undergo surgery and hormone therapy to transition, has increased immensely in recent years, particularly in the U.S. Chris's reveal couldn't have been more timely since the U.S. is currently plagued by an anti-LGBTQ plus legislation with a focus on trans and gender non-conforming individuals. In some states, they are even denying trans and non-gender conforming individuals from vital and gender affirming healthcare. In case you didn't know, gender affirming healthcare includes hormone replacement therapy and surgeries, while some also receive speech therapy, family therapy, counseling, puberty blockers, and things like hair removal. One accusation Chris experienced from those objecting to him undergoing gender-affirming care said Tyson's child had lost a quote-unquote father figure. In response, Chris wrote that their child Tucker is loved and happy and that the insult is just quote-unquote more dog whistling that somehow trans and gender non-conforming folks aren't safe around kids and added, I made this decision because I wanted to show up as my best and happiest self for him. Speaking of Chris's son, he also still has a wife, Katie Tyson, whom he married in June 2018 and is the mother of his child. This is a major reason why Chris is getting so-called canceled, because he's maintained the image of a family man all these years and now appears to be betraying and abandoning Katie and Tucker. It's unclear what the pair's relationship status is after Chris announced his HRT treatment, but rumors are abound that they've separated. On Reddit, many are discussing and wondering if they're divorced since Chris never posts photos with Katie anymore. Neither does she. One user answered, claiming, they're together still and live in the same house, but Chris Chris is becoming more liberal and agnostic, while Katie is still a conservative Christian. I wouldn't be surprised if that's causing conflict between them. Yeah, that and a bunch of other things. However, neither Chris nor Katie have addressed any of the rumors. Katie is also an influencer over on Instagram and has an Amazon page where she promotes a range of products such as clothing dupes, household and kitchen items, home decor, and more. Over on her Instagram, she hasn't posted any photos with Chris since December 2021. In February 2023, Chris did comment on one of Katie's photos featuring their son, writing, Tucker's tail from your ponytail in the first picture is so cute. As mentioned, in the past, Chris also revealed that he's bisexual, and in April 2023, he reaffirmed his sexuality with a tweet saying, I'm 99.9% .9 sure I still like both genders, lol. Another rumor that fans have often created theories about is that Chris is dating his other co-host, Carl, from Mr. Beast. Fans of the show have coined the term the Carl effect because they believe Mr. Beast's team member, Carl Jacobs, has a negative effect on others in their group. Many also suspect that Carl and Chris spend a lot of time together and that could be a reason why Chris started dressing differently and much like Carl and that Chris and Katie might have grown apart due to this Carl effect. But there's no evidence to back up these claims. Either way, for now, that is all we know about Chris Tyson's gender identity journey and his transformation. So that's going to wrap up today's Before and After. But before we go, answer this question for me. Do any of you Mr. Beast fans out there believe in this so-called Carl effect? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. My name's Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!